Well, I think Netanyahu is receptive to the idea that world opinion is turning very quickly against Israel because of humanitarian, um, the humanitarian crisis in Gaza and the ongoing civilian death toll. But as we've already discussed, Israel is facing a very difficult situation where it's almost impossible to separate the combatants from the civilian population as Hamas is using um, Gazans as human shields and as, you know, essentially collateral damage to their larger terrorist project. Uh, so this poses significant challenges for Israel to be able to satisfy Secretary Blinken's demands while prosecuting its war aims, which require it for its own self-defense to decapitate Hamas leadership and try to disarm um, uh, Hamas and other militant groups, because Hamas is not the only militant group operating in the Gaza Strip at the moment, while trying to secure the Strip sufficiently to try to extract any hostages that still may be uh, that still may be alive. But it's a very, very difficult uh, question because um, you're you're working in urban um, urban combat, you know, essentially hand to hand combat, possibly in tunnels or. Uh, on underground structures, and it may be nearly impossible to satisfy both the demands of Israeli security and the uh, aspiration to not affect civilians uh, as much as possible. So I think uh, Netanyahu is receptive to the idea that this matters to world opinion, which is slipping precipitously as we speak, but he may feel that there's um, very few um, good options at the moment.